unfinished business. He's done it. Yeah, it was pretty special um, when you think about those Champions League nights at Highmarsh to score the winner in one of the biggest games in the club's history, probably the biggest at the time. Yeah, it's pretty special for me as a, a moment that I, I truly cherish. Well, I suppose the biggest thing was that I scored the own goal in the first leg. Um, we went away to Japan, we knew it was going to be a tough game. Travis gave us the lead in the first half with a nice header and then just late in that first half, a bit of an in-swinging cross, I swung my left peg at it. And just, yeah, it was a nightmare for me that moment. But to come back at Highmarsh, um, you know, we knew if we could win, we, we'd go through to the semi-finals. And yeah, I was, I was playing as a right back and, and Trav had, Travis Dodd had sort of drifted inside and I found myself up high and Paul Reed had a long range strike that was parried. And once the ball went to Cassio, I just saw a bit of space and decided to get in there. It was a, a great ball and the keeper did me a bit of a favor, I think, headed it down, which helped. Finally, Cassio now whips in a dangerous ball. That run in the Champions League was, like I say, some of the best moments uh, at this club for the players and everyone involved. It still gets talked about to this day and, you know, a lot of people um, always bring that goal up to me and I scored right in front of my, my family and my friends. They sat in that corner. Um, I did the goggles or the superhero, whatever you want to call it, celebration. It was the first time I'd ever done it. Um, and I just remember sort of sliding along the ground. I think Scott Jamison, who was my roommate at the time, was the first person to get to me. So. Yeah, like I say, just yeah, memories that will last a lifetime.